Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Milky Singh Academy. In today's video, I'm going to share with you that how you can use approvals in Microsoft Teams mobile app. So this is again a new feature that has been added by Microsoft. Earlier it was only for desktop application, now you can use it in mobile also. So let me click on this more button here because it is not present here the approval app. So if I click on the more, I will see these approvals here you can see. So if I click here and guys you can also reorder it. So all the apps here you can see you can uh, like drag and drop here so I can drag the approvals like to the top or to the bottom. So I can do that here. So it will appear here in the navigation top uh, this bottom navigation here you can see. So let me click on add exit navigation. So once I click on this approvals, you will uh, see this kind of window here, which it is a received and sent. So it is like basically a some kind of a text message. So what this uh, approvals actually mean guys. So approvals are like uh, when you want the approval of your fellow colleagues or your students or maybe you are working in a team and you want the approval of your fellow colleagues or your team members that uh, you are going to go for a project or not or maybe you are want some confirmation from your members so you can use this these approvals in variety of methods so let me click on this plus icon and uh, let me create a new approval so click on this plus icon so here you will have two options basics and templates so if I click on this templates currently there are no templates that are set by our organization but if you are there you can use these templates from here but I can create basic approvals here so if I click on basics it will open up this window here so here in the title you have to type the title so maybe I'm going to type this approvals so maybe not approval so next is add approvers so you, here you have to type the name of the approvers so let me click on my wife's name here so Rabia and this is the email ID and similarly you can add as many as approvers in your list so I have added two and you can see that it is automatically enabled so require response from all so you can enable it and disable it when you want the input from all the uh, all the people so you can use this require response from all and if needed any extra information so I'm going to write approve this so you can use this any text that like you want a clarification of this approval next one is add attachment so maybe you can add a PDF or maybe a image so let me add some image here so let me add the, this screenshot here so this is the screenshot here that, that has been added as attachment here so custom responses you can enable it so enter a custom response here or add another if you want so any response like if I write here approve this so this is going the message so I'm going to write not approve okay so maybe I want these two messages only and send to the another environment so you can select it and you can choose any environment that you want so maybe by default it is my organization name but you can change the environment okay guys so this is all we have added all the names of the approvers and we just set the responses for all from all and i'm just added some text here approve this and some custom responses so when i uh, click on the send button it is going to send this approval to the these two persons here you can see so let me click on send and then i'm going to uh, sign in a, again uh, from this uh, ravi Pandey account so that uh, i will show you that how it uh, is going to look when someone receives any approvals so let me click on send and your approval request is being created and once it is created it is going to send to that particular person whom i have added in the approval list so guys you can see here uh, if i click on this send so this is uh, the approval i have created so requested by me and sent to these two persons so now i'm going to log in through my wife account this rabia pandey and let me show you that how these uh, approval are going to look like now guys i have signed to the, this different account if i click on activity you can see here this kira singh pandey sent you a request so approvals are here so if i click here this will open up the approvals here you can see so that's once it's loaded up here so here you can see requested approve this 
and this is some attachment here that has been shared with my SharePoint. I've added two custom messages so approve this or not approve so whether this person this uh, whom I have shared if I click on this approve this it is going to approve this approval and if I click on this uh, not approve and it is going to not approve this one so you can see the submitting your response here and it is going to open my approvals of this person here so two are requested so the last one is the cancelled here and this is requested I have, I have already submitted this you can see now I don't have the option to submit again so now let me click on this uh, my sign into my account from whom I have created this approval so this person has this Ravi Apandir has submitted the approval like uh, I clicked on approve this so let me show you that how it looked like when I opened my account from where I have created this here guys you can see Ravi Apandir responded to your request so if I click here it is going to show me the result so here guys you can see that uh, this Rabia Pandey has selected approve this and uh, one is pending this Arjun Pal is pending here so maybe if you have uh, like a long list of people you can see this line kind of thing is going to appear so once it's completed it is going to like show you the full responses from all the persons whom you have uh, shared this approval so that is all guys how to use approvals so make sure you like my video and if you have any question you can write it in the comment box so i will happy to uh, respond to your questions see you soon guys thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel